welcome to Size for Steam. This video is to be instructional to help you put together a steampunk persona outfit with the help of some willing participants. Yay! So, let's go inside. <laughs> Now, as you'll notice to my right, we have a collection of coats and whatnot. This is a great place to start, especially when you're building an outfit. So, let's go. Even if the arms aren't right, a good coat will cover it up. As you can see, the ladies are busy sorting through all of that. That's just one stop on a long journey. Matter of fact, you got to think in terms of who am I and what do I do? Just kind of find something that fits what's in here and goes out here. Great find. Great find. Ooh. This is linen. solid white linen. Linen is great because it is warm in the winter and it is very cool in the summer because it breathes. Um, but uh, it also takes dyes really well because uh, you could do like a, a tea stain dye on something like this. Just put it in a, a tub of water with a bunch of tea bags and it'll come out a beautiful cream color. Back to 1886. There, that's excellent. Especially put some more lace underneath Ooh. the collar area. I don't know. Most people always keep thinking that steampunk has to be grab browns and topes and white and, you know. Yeah you know, just uh, beige and stuff, because that's like the old photos and everything. It doesn't have to be. During the Victorian era, they just invented um, the uh, artificial dyes. Everything was dyed. They had printed dyes. They had, you know, patterns and, and everything else. Well, remember one thing about steampunk, there is no such thing as period. We are, after all, time travelers. It may be a bit of a trope, but the vest is another cornerstone in any steampunk outfit. $5.99. That fits you really well. Is he? That's going to be just fine. Ah, uh, I've seen a shirt. <laughs> All you need now is an ascot. Uh, you know how I go out for Halloween? Um, it's boxing. So I'm boxing. I'm going to fuck that. That's scary. You see a big old dude like me, there's nothing in the drawers. I'm going to come back and get you some candy. <laughs> Every Goodwill has about a dozen of these. Now, if you can't one that fits or has the style that you want, they can always be stripped for the leather and used to make other things. This here, perfect example. This can be turned into about 80 different straps for various equipment, knives, accoutrements, whatever. These unbraid really quickly and it's not hard to find a whole bunch. The thing about trousers, is just because it's in the men's section doesn't mean that the ladies can't wear it either. In the Victorian era is when women actually started wearing trousers. Any same like outfit pointed to have a profession or be in some sort of marketable skill. There are two different things that we can talk about in this area. One, really showy stuff, and two, stuff that can be repurposed and turned into something else. Now the really showy stuff could go anywhere from little doodads and whatnots to chotskis to a nice teapot. You never know what you might find in a Goodwill. Repurposed stuff is old electronics and, well, household items that can be broken apart and turned into something else. A little paint, a little glue, a little imagination. <laughs> nice little box. Put stuff in it, clean it up a little bit, or don't. Actually, this makes it look a lot older than it actually is. Until you actually get on top of it, you don't even realize it's made out of plastic. Um, this is kind of a good one. It looks like it's a, a, some sort of cheese plate thing. Just put a lid on it. A little menagerie. This would help protect it. And it, then you can, it also makes it look pretty and gives it like a little contained thing. So it's, like, it's more like setting a stage. Using the power of my imagination, 
This is an artifact that the crew and I discovered in ancient Atlantis. We're still trying to figure out what his purpose was for, but we think it has something to do with turtles. You know, they have already pleated edges. Just chop that off, sew them up, you got a skirt. This is a good heavy linen, nice color. There's a lot of it here. You could probably make a pair of pants, shirt, all kinds of things out of this. Now, when I'm dressed like this, I'm Captain Sean Greenhill of the Mechanist Ascendant. But when I'm not dressed like this, I'm Jeffrey Harris. Uh, I guess you could say I came about steampunk by way of a girl. She introduced me to me about three years ago, and well, it just sort of resonated with me enough that I really got into it. The music, the culture, the art. And now I'm the current leader of the Clockwork Mechanists, a local steampunk enthusiast group. I am Abby Finch, and my persona's name is Emily Weaver. I am what I call a uh, warrior seamstress. I'm a seamstress by trade, I make and repair clothing, but I've learned, because I come from an area of civil war, that you need to know how to protect yourself. So I started using the tools of my trade to fight with. I fight with battle scissors, seam rippers, needles, all of them upgraded to weapon size. So I'm a very practical girl, jeans, leather, very practical accoutrement, <laughs> very utilitarian. <laughs> Uh, my name is uh, Lacey, um, and my persona is um, Marie is a librarian, and possibly too much lead in the water or some such thing like that caused her to kind of snap. And so now she goes after overdue library books in a more bounty hunter style. <laughs> So she tends to be a little bit off her rocker, but she at first was also a shop girl, so I tend to go in more terms of sort of almost this sort of nice, but you, you, uh, you know, Unitarian style. Uh, my persona would be Miss Birdie Chastain, Southern Lady of Moons, whose main mission in life is to be a demon bounty hunter, as her mother was killed by one. So the costuming I look for for this character would be southern, western, kind of a world traveler thing, but mainly with flowing movement, places to put things or to conceal. That way the weaponry is not noticeable unless I need it to be. Hi, my name is Shane. My character's name is Captain Krebios. I um, pilot an airship. I'm a demon hunter, and uh, we make extra money by bounty hunting. Uh, Lady Chastain, Birdie, would be my uh, my partner in crime, I guess you could say. And uh, we hunt demons and uh, encase them in amber, and then we bust them apart, and we make jewelry out of all the pieces of demons, so we can put them back. They can't be put back together. It's kind of a fun thing, and we uh, write stories about it and everything. And I uh, create my own weapons and out of, out of nothing and just stuff you find here and uh, it's a lot of fun uh, enjoy the steampunk um, everything i guess you could say this one it's going under the jacket now even though i'm a lady you have to be able to fit in at all places so should we go to some less reputable part of town I would be allowed to wear red just that one. With a proper skirt, no doubt. The great thing about this is, we're looking maybe at a total of 15, 20 bucks for a complete outfit that you could have a lot of fun in. Pants. Pants. You can't have these. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to go back in there. Bye! Oh, uh, well, we didn't exactly 
tell you how to put an outfit together because I believe in the show in showmanship. So next time you're at Goodwill, keep in mind, hey, you might find something that you can use. Schlepp and dub. My way to a gold powered underground.